a quick grab, a quick, now I have a quick grab handle. Hi there. Today I'm gonna to bring you a vintage bag. This is a vintage hunting bag. And it, when you lift it, you see a place for cartridges in there. The person I purchased this from, I'll put a link in the description below. It was off of eBay. He has several available and they're in various types of conditions from lots of blemishes to hardly any like this bag here. So I just saw this and thought that is the coolest design. And the, I was looking at it as a purse to carry, crossbody um, purse. It really looks like a saddlebag. I've seen some coach bags that have a very similar design to this. I just thought this was such a good idea for chapstick and lipstick. This bag also has a flap here with a front pocket. As you can hear, I don't know if you can hear that. This is a veg tanned leather and it is pretty stiff at this point. I'm not sure if that squeak ever goes away. I mean, if you've ever gotten in an old saddle, you hear it creak and squeak. Inside, that's pretty stiff. If I actually use the bag, that stiffness would probably soften up, but it goes pretty deep. This is, this is a pretty deep bag. Another cool feature. And so it has the, it has an adjustable strap, but it has these hooks on the side. And these hooks are game hooks and you, you hang something from them and you can hang your your game that you've caught off of the hooks. But I can think of so many fun, fun uses for those, those little D-rings. Um, again, it's, it's very adjustable, just like a belt, it adjusts. The, the, the place where the strap meets, it, so you see it's stitched there and then it comes up and there's a little slide here making a loop, which then the strap loops into the strap is not removable and um, the bottom actually buckles okay this one is um this has got a little leather toggle there and this goes into it it's a little stiff to do so i won't do that and then the the top buckles down now i don't want to mess with that so i added a little um rivet or Chicago screw and one, it can actually just pop in and now my lid is secure. So that's just a little fun item. I haven't carried it because it does look a little big on me. I'll model it now. I have it, I have it pretty loose um, because I would probably carry it cross body and it comes to about there. Let's see, it hangs. So it's very, it's very uh, doable, very carryable. Um, it's, it's really stiff and I think that I've tried to carry it a few times and that sort of makes me decide not to make it a daily carry. The other thing is grabbing it in the car, I have to grab it like this and it wants to slip out of my hands or I could grab it here. I'm making a lot of clanking noises, I'm sorry. So what I've uh, come up with and this was really easy. I just I have a bag of purse parts These are purses I've bought that were broken or uh, They didn't sell they were real cheap got them at garage sales and I just keep them for the parts But I used these little um, These little round spring clips, which I'll link below And now I have a quick grab handle and it just flops to the back when I'm not using it this is a Polish Cold War era hunting bag, and I'll put the link to the seller below, and be sure and tell him you saw it on this video. I hope you enjoyed that video, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.